Well, hello there. It's a time of year when I'm cleaning out the cobwebs around the home. Always remembering you're only six feet away from a spider at any time. But in this year's cleanup, I've come across one of those very, very curious critters, and I think he's slightly confused. I've got a very sneaky suspicion that one of these sticks is actually a giant stick insect. And you know what's very interesting? I actually came across one of these last spring. Whoa! This one's a beauty, whoa and he's on the move. That there is the head end, you can just see the eyes there. If we go down here, it looks just like a stick. I believe some of these have got wings. I think it determines the male between the female, I think. I should do my research, shouldn't I? What I'll try and do is pick this one up. I want to show my son one of these. He hasn't really seen one of these insects yet. Uh, absolutely beautiful critters in all sorts of ways. Ah, uh, look at that. Having a sleep in my hands. Well, my son hasn't seen one of these in stick insects before. What do you think of this one? Good. Do you like him? Yeah, but he, he, the next is Turntus insects. Well, this is the mystery. He's actually an insect who's pretending to be a stick so that birds can't find him. That's the way he protects himself by looking like a stick and he does a mighty good job at it. Do you want to have a play with him? He doesn't, he doesn't bite, they're beautiful. Now these don't bite, you can actually pat them. I'll, you can pat his head, you want to pat his head? Pat him, you're going to pat his head? Oh, his head's up near my thumb, just pat him up there. There, he's yeah, He's beautiful isn't he? What does he feel like? He's like a stick. Well, <laughs> that's right, he looks like a stick. And he actually feels like a stick as well. I mean, he's a bit of a devil to video because he tends to not want to be in focus. But if I have him on my hand like there, it might be the best way to see him. I hoping it's a him. Well, let's call it a her. I don't know. The stick insect experts out there can tell me what I'm dealing with here. The bird says to the bird. Can you see his eyes? And he, yeah, and he mouth. He mouth? Yeah, and he, and he eyes and he mouth. Yeah, he's very interesting, isn't he? Yeah. I wonder what they're doing this time of year. That's springtime where we live. It's looking very curious. And this one, I think, is a little bit smaller than the one I had last year. They're beautiful, they're coming for camera. I remember last year's one liked to come for camera as well. Bye bye, stick insect, bye. Bye, I'll see you next year, I'm sure I'll be around. Dad, can you put those to the bird bowl? Oh, we're not putting him on the bird bowl. Hey, he's coming for camera, here he comes. He loves the camera, this boy. Well, there is hopefully an in focus shot of his head there. Beautiful critter. And the baby magpies are around if they saw this guy. <gasps> Boy, oh boy, they'd snap him up real fast. But he's got to get onto a tree and start pretending to be a stick because that's what he's really good at. And I think he's coming towards camera again. Here he comes. I've got a feeling uh, these guys actually can be much larger than this. Um, although, I mean, I call that a large insect. I think most people, if you see an insect like that and it's taken up the best part of the bottom of my arm, um, that's a large critter. I mean, honestly, when you look at this, you think it's from another planet. Well, I think just where my thumb is are his wings, but I might be totally wrong. I'm not an entomologist, as you all may know. Um, but I remember reading about these last year. I think it was the males had wings. Or, I mean, what am I dealing with here? But I might be totally wrong. This could be a female. If it is, she's reaching out for me. Look at it go. Here she comes with the camera again. She loves the camera. Well, I think it's really important if you find beauties like this in the garden to put them in the correct place and she'll be well protected when she's on a tree and looking like a stick. And there she goes, she looks stunning. She or he, the audience will decide. It's so weird doing this video because I felt like I've done it before. But I don't know, every time I see things like this I always get awestruck by them. It's sort of interesting doing the swaying motion that they do. Um, I noticed that when I had the one last year as well. And he or she, I think it's a he, is um, going to go up this tree and pretend to be, well, part of the tree. And there's a long climb to the top. But I'm sure those long legs will make it a very short journey. And it's funny, not until she's out in the branch, I'm pretty sure if a bird saw that moving around like that on this tree trunk, it's going to come in and swoop, so what I'll do is I'll hang around and make sure this lovely stick insect 
finds a nice home to hide out. I hope you enjoyed looking at this sick insect. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.